Catalytic converters are like the spleen of your car's emission system, oddly crucial, easily ignored, and a magnet for random advice online. One recurring myth? Drilling holes in the catalytic converter improves performance. Let's dive into why that's a viral bad idea. People get tempted by this hack because their check engine light blinks on or the converter gets clogged from years of oil leaks or burning coolant. They want the light off, more power, and a quick fix rather than a pricey mechanic bill, which can hit $1,500. So the theory goes, a couple of neat holes drilled in the converter will let the exhaust breathe, restore lost performance, and maybe even fool the O2 sensor enough to pass inspection. This is the exhaust equivalent of duct taping a broken leg. Cheap, a little wild, and not really an answer. In practice, what actually happens is exhaust bypasses the catalyst element, which is a ceramic honeycomb coated in metals like platinum, rhodium, and palladium. Fun fact, a healthy catalytic converter reduces harmful emissions up to 90%. Holes literally poke holes in that performance. Here's the kicker. Drilling holes doesn't remove clogs or fix the real problem. Your car's computer will likely still throw codes for poor efficiency or low catalyst function. Now you've got illegal emissions, a louder car, and no check engine fix. A huge pain point people bump into is failing state inspections. Drilled converters are super easy for a tech to spot. They'll see rust, residue, or carbon patterns that look like a beginner's shop project. Automatic fail with a note to replace the converter. There's also a melting pot of side effects. Worse fuel efficiency, a much louder exhaust note, and a weird sulfur smell. Your neighbors and the environment are not going to thank you. In states with strict laws, you could get fined hundreds for tampering. Step by step, first some guy on YouTube fires up his drill. Then exhaust gases escape before they're cleaned and sensors get confused, sometimes making things worse by running fuel too rich or lean. More smoke, more stink, maybe even engine stalling. Pro tip, if you're experiencing power loss or poor mileage, Scan the car for codes before deciding on anything as drastic as drilling. P04 Tor 430, catalyst efficiency below threshold, are common, but they signal deeper engine or fuel issues. If the converter is really clogged, replacement is usually the only real fix. Most shops can swap it in about an hour. It's not cheap, but you recover lost power, pass emissions, and avoid chasing weird problems that drilled holes just create. For folks in rust-prone areas like Portland, yep, I'm dealing with this, a blocked catalytic converter sometimes happens thanks to endless rain and rough roads. Might be tempting for DIY, but trust me, taking shortcuts here leads to bigger nightmares. My favorite stat, Americans spend over $2 billion per year replacing or repairing emission systems. Most of that could be avoided by upstream maintenance. So skip the drill. Save your wallet, your car, and your lungs your future self, and probably your neighbors. Well, thank you.